Hey guys, so in this video, we will show you the exact candlestick patterns we use to identify trade opportunities. Make sure to click the subscribe button and to hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released as we have a lot of new things coming, so stay tuned. So from looking at the comments, a lot of you want more content on price action and understanding candlesticks is a big part of price action. Also right now, comment below on what next topics you want us to cover as we look at the comments to decide what videos to make. And we really enjoy hearing from you guys. So first, why are candlesticks important to understand? Candlesticks tell a story and are a reflection of what buyers and sellers are doing. What this means is the candlestick pattern that forms tells you a lot about what is occurring in that specific time period in terms of buying and selling within the market. Now, there are many ways to use candlesticks, but in this video, we will be focusing on combining candlesticks with key levels, which we have been building on from past videos. So make sure you are all caught up. So let's go through the specific candlestick patterns we look for. The first candlestick type we look for is the long wick candle. A long wick candle looks like this where the wick is sticking out. And a pro tip, the longer the wick, the better the candle. So how do we use this candle type? Again, back to what we have been discussing in our previous videos. We look left and notice that price came up, hit and reversed drastically, giving us a good level of resistance. Now, as price came back up to this level, we had no idea whether there would be a trade opportunity or not. What you do is you wait for price action to form at these key levels before deciding what to do. Price action comes in many forms, but in this case, what we got was this great long wick candle that rejects resistance, resulting in a bounce short. So what does the long wick candle tell us in terms of price action? The long wick shows that buyers tried to push price higher, but failed, causing the wick to stick out. If buyers were in complete control, then you would have a candle that looked like this form instead with a big body showing momentum. These long wick candles can form as a result of profit taking at these key levels, as well as sellers stepping into the market. Now there are also false breakouts that occur, but we will discuss that in another video. So let's show this again. You look left and notice that both times price got to this level, it hit and reversed drastically, giving us a key level of support. Then as price came back down to this level, we were looking for some form of price action at the level. First, we had momentum loss through shrinking candles with a big candle, a smaller candle, and then finally you had this green candle form that is a very long wick candle, which shows that price tried to push lower, but failed, which caused the very long wick candle close and then a bounce upwards. Now moving on. So the second candlestick type we look for is the inside bar. This here is what an inside bar looks like, where the high and the low of the candle is completely inside of the high and the low of the previous candle, which shows momentum loss. So how do we use this candle type? Again, we look left and on two different occasions, price came up, hit and reversed, giving us a good level of resistance. As price came back up to this level, we had a candle where the wick is sticking out, showing a reaction to the level, followed by this inside bar. Notice how this candle is smaller and is contained within the highs and the lows of the previous candle. So what does the inside bar tell us in terms of price action? It shows that there was momentum loss because price failed to make a higher high. Now, moving on. So the third candle type we look for is what we call a momentum candle. A momentum candle looks like this, where the candle body is bigger than the previous candle's body, showing a gain in momentum. So how do we use this candle type? We like to use the momentum candle after any form of rejection candle, such as after a long wick candle or after an inside bar. So here's the pound cap. And again, we look left and notice that price came up, hit and reversed, giving us a level of resistance. 
As price came back up to this level, you had multiple long wick candle rejections of this level. Now, many traders will take trades right at these long wick candles, which is fine. But for more secure traders, you can wait for the bearish momentum candle as it shows that sellers are actually stepping into the market, which causes the bigger body momentum candle to form. Now, moving on. So the fourth candlestick pattern we look for is multiple candle rejections. The name is self-explanatory. Multiple rejections means more than one candle rejecting a key level. So again, we look left and noticed price came up, hit and reversed drastically, giving us a level of key resistance. As price came back up to this level, look at the multiple long wick candles that rejected this level of resistance. Five candles in total, where price tried to push higher, but failed, creating a good short opportunity. So let's show this again. We look left and notice price came down, hit and reversed drastically, giving us a clear level of support. As price came back down to this level, we again had multiple candles rejecting this level of support. Five total rejections, creating a good long opportunity. So what does multiple candle rejections tell us in terms of price action? It shows that price tried over and over again to push through the level but failed. In this case here, sellers tried five times in a row to break lower and through support but failed, causing these multiple long wick candles to form. So let's get into the psychology of all this. Think about this from a seller's perspective. If you got in short up here and held your position all the way down and noticed this level of support, in your mind, you are possibly thinking of closing your position. And once you see these multiple candle rejections, and as someone who understands price action, you are telling yourself this might be a good place to take profit. In contrast, from a buyer's perspective, you notice this level holding up as sellers could not push price lower. And in your mind, you are thinking that sellers might be taking profit at this level, as well as other buyers possibly stepping in. Now, this is the key. The double action of sellers taking profit and closing positions, as well as buyers entering the market and opening long positions, causes these specific candlestick patterns to form. And once there are more buyers and sellers in the market, this triggers a reversal. This is a very important takeaway. You should always try to look at price action in terms of what other buyers and sellers are thinking and doing, and use that in combination with your trading decisions. Now, before we continue, if you want us to make more videos more often, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and to comment below with your questions and thoughts as this lets us know you want more videos. Now, moving on. So the fifth candlestick pattern we look for is shrinking candles. And as you should already know, we did a whole video on this topic, but let's quickly recap. What we like to see is shrinking candles as price approaches a key level to show momentum loss. As you can see, price came up, hit and reversed, giving us a level of resistance. When price came back up to this level, we had a big candle, smaller candle, and an even smaller candle, followed by a long wick candle rejection. And this was a picture perfect example of shrinking candles, but also combining it with a long wick candle for extra confirmation, which followed with a reversal. Now this also brings us to our next candlestick pattern, which is a candle color change. As you can see, we had three green candles before a red candle finally appears, which shows momentum loss. This complete pattern is also what we call a combo because you have multiple different candlestick patterns occurring at the same time. You had the shrinking candles, a candle color change, and a long wick candle rejection, which makes this a high quality short opportunity. This also leads us to our next section, which is combining candlestick patterns together. So let's jump to that. Now, in this section, we put it all together. So just like how we showed you in the previous video how to stack support and resistance traits, you can also stack candle patterns together to increase trade quality. So here's the Euro dollar. You look left and notice price came down, hit and reversed, giving you a level of support. As price came back down, you first had momentum loss through shrinking candles. Second, we had a long wick candle rejection of support. And third, a green candle finally appears after consecutive red candles. 
And this is also a bullish momentum candle, which confirms that buyers were actually stepping in. Again, notice how we stacked multiple candlestick patterns together to improve trade quality. So moving on. Here's the Swiss yen. And again, price came up, hit and reversed drastically, giving us a level of resistance. As price came back up to this level, we had multiple candlestick patterns form. First, a long wick candle rejection. Second, we had multiple additional candle rejections. Third, we had an inside bar, another inside bar. And fourth, a candle color change, as we had all green candles before a red candle appears. Now the same thing occurred again once price came back up. First, we had a candle with the wick sticking out, showing a reaction to the level. This was then followed by a candle color change to red after green candles, and then a perfect inside bar candle. So moving on, here's the EuroCAD. And again, we look left and noticed that price was in a heavy downtrend before finally there was a significant reversal that occurred, which signals to us that this is a key level. Now, as price came back down to this level, what price action candlestick patterns did we have? First, we had momentum loss through shrinking candles as we had a big candle, a smaller candle, and then an even smaller candle. Second, we had the wicks sticking out from both these candles, showing a reaction to this level. Third, we had a candle color change as we had two red candles followed by a green candle, which shows momentum loss. Fourth, we had an inside bar as this candle is smaller than the previous candle, which again shows momentum loss. Now, a lot of traders would look to go long right on this candle if they had intraday confirmation, which we will discuss in a future video. But for more secure traders, you can add in one more price action pattern, which is our fifth trait, which is the momentum candle. The momentum candle shows buying presence as buyers actually stepped into the market, which causes this bigger candle to form. Again, stacking candlestick patterns in combination with key levels is a great way to qualify potential trade entries. Now, what we have showed you so far is just scratching the surface. In order to take your trading to the next level, you need to keep adding to your price action toolbox and understand how to use concepts such as time frame confluence, intraday confirmation, market condition, and many other tools we will get into in the future. As we continue to build on price action as a whole, you will be able to narrow down and filter out okay trades versus very high quality trades. So if you enjoyed this video and want us to make more videos more often, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also comment below with your thoughts and what kind of topics you want us to cover as this lets us know you want more videos more often. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.